Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over three new mini palettes from Juvia's Place. I have here the Mauve's palette, the Taupe's palette, and the Sweet Pinks palette. Now these two, the Taupe and the Sweet Pinks, were sent to me by Juvia's Place and I purchased the Mauve. So thank you to Juvia's Place for sending these over. I truly appreciate it. I am going to be doing a look with all three of these. I'm going to show you guys some swatches and of course I'm going to give you my two cents and whether or not I would recommend them. First, let's get into the swatches and the information. These three palettes are extension of palettes that they've already released in different color waves, and I do have a review and tutorials on those, so I will leave that linked down below. Let's start off with the Mauve's palette. All of the palettes retail for $14. All of them are in cardboard packaging. No mirror, but you do get this beautiful artwork. I love Love, love, love the artwork that Juvia's Place puts on their palettes. I just think that they are gorgeous. And these are the shades that are in the Mauve's palette. Now, each of these palettes are a little bit different. So this one right here has pressed pigments. So shade one, two, three, and five are pressed pigments. And then two eyeshadows, number four and six. Pressed pigments you do have to be careful with. They're not intended for eye use. They have to say that because they can be irritating to the lid or cause some staining. Personally, I don't have any irritation or anything like that, so it doesn't bother me, but I'm just letting you guys know just in case you do have some sensitivities. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the swatches for the Mauve's palette. On the website, it reads, the Mauve's palette contains some of our most highly requested shades in an unforgettable range for limitless, potential. Perfect for a soft, natural look or complete glam moment. Pairs well with the Sweet Pinks, the Berries, and the Nudes. The Sweet Pinks is one of the palettes that I'm going to be going over today, and then the Berries and the Nudes are in the video that I have already done previously. Speaking of the Sweet Pinks palette, let's talk about that one next. This one is a six-color pressed pigment palette, meaning that all of the shades in here are considered to be pressed pigments. This palette is perfect for a soft, natural look or complete glam moment, again, pairs well with the berries, the nudes, and the mauves. Lastly, we have the palette that I am currently wearing right now, the Topes palette, and this one says that it is a six pan eyeshadow palette, so no pressed pigments in here, and uh, yes, this is cool tone, neutral, beautiful, uh, I love these shades, you guys know how I feel about cool tones and neutral tones, they just, mm, they give me the feels. For a perfectly flawless finish every time, make sure this iconic nude eyeshadow palette, complete with nudes, deep browns, and perfect taupe shimmer hues is a part of your everyday makeup and beauty routine and take boring to totally outside the ordinary. Plus, it pairs perfectly with your favorite highlighter. I'm going to move straight on to the three different looks, and I'm going to use the two brighter palettes first, and then I will show you the look that I am wearing today using the taupes palette. In the Sweet Pinks palette, I'm reaching for the first shade in the bottom row on a Sonia G Classic Crease. And that is exactly where I am going to start, is in the crease. And uh, this has some pigmentation. <laughs> and by some, I mean a lot. <laughs> I'm going to go back and forth, windshield wiper motions, inner to outer corner. and. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna softly and slow, oh my goodness, this has a lot of pigmentation. I'm gonna bring this upward and use this as my transition shade. On a rougher number three, I'm going in with the very last shade in the palette, and I am going to apply this along the lower lash line. Going back in with the Sonia G Classic Crease, second shade in the palette, I am adding some depth 
into the crease. Lightly blending upward. Next, I'm going to take the middle shade in the bottom row on a Sonia G Worker 3. This is going to be one heck of a bright pink eye. And I'm not even mad at it. I'm taking this all over the lid. And by the way, I am using this dry. A lot of times, at least on my eye shape, I can get like a little bit of a line right here. So I like to just kind of take my brush and pull down. So it kind of blends the product so it's not like stuck in the crease right there. On a BK Beauty 206, I'm taking the third shade in the first row. I didn't pick up a lot. I'm just going to use this to lightly highlight the brow arch, kind of blend around the edge of the pink. Very first shade in the palette, back in with my refer number three. I'm going to use this shade wet and go right up against the lower lash line. Wayne Goss number five, third shade, top row. I'm applying this directly onto the inner corner before going in and adding mascara and liner. Now we're going in with the Mauves palette and I'm going to take a Zoeva 227 first shade bottom row. Going directly into the crease once again. Back and forth, windshield wiper motions. And then tiny little circular motions. I really like this color. Blending it upward. This color is really, really, really pretty. Picking up a bit more product, again starting in the crease. But I'm going to do the same thing back and forth and then Lightly work it upwards. Refer number three, same shade. I'm just taking that right along the lower lash line. Now going in with the very last shade in the palette on a refer number 14. I am going to deepen up the crease with this shade. Lending upward, but making sure not to go quite as high as I did with the last color. Using the same shade, going in with the refer number three. I am placing this right up against the lower lash line. Going back in with the refer number 14, I'm taking the very first shade in the palette. I want to deepen up the outer corner, lightly bring it into the crease, and then I'm taking a smaller Wayne Goss number 20 to apply it to the inner corner. I'm going to create a kind of a halo, more of a blended halo look. Middle shade, bottom row. I'm going in with the BK Beauty 206 and I'm going to pick up a very small amount of this and lightly highlight my brow arch. I'm using the same shade, this time on a refer number 21. I'm using the shade dry 
and I'm placing this on the center of the lid. Tapping it out around the edges to blend it out. Going in with one more layer. Now I'm using that shade wet right in the center of the lid and closer to the lash line and the center. Like I don't want to bring it all the way up with it being wet. I just want to have a little bit more intensity on the center portion of the eye. MAC 263, last shade in the first row. I am going to angle out on the edge. I think I'm gonna need my mirror. I'm gonna create a little bit of definition and line, like a liner effect, like a lifted liner effect. If I could talk, it would be great. It would also be great if my Bristles Beauty brush was clean because that brush makes this so, so easy. I'm bringing it about three quarters of the way onto the lid up against the lashes. And I'm gonna finish this up and add on inner rim liner and mascara. I'm starting off with the last shade in the very first row on a Wayne Goss number 17. Placing this directly into the crease, back and forth, windshield wiper motions, circular motions, buffing it upward. I have already done the opposite eye. So I know I am going to have to layer this shade just a little bit. Going in again, each time I make sure to start in the crease and then work upward so that I don't get too much pigmentation straight off the bat too far up. BK Beauty 207, first shade in the second row. I'm applying this right along the lower lash line. I'm going to take that same exact shade back on my Wayne Goss number 17, and I am going to add just a little bit more depth into the crease. Picking up a bit more. On a Wayne Goss number 18, I'm gonna go in with the second shade in the bottom row, placing this on the very outer portion of the lid, about halfway onto the lid, kind of stamping it into place, and then again, going into the crease and smoking out this outer portion. Refer number 21, very last shade in the palette, applying this all over the lid. I am building this up, just so you guys know. I'm using it dry, but I'm building it up. Next up, I'm going in with the second shade in the palette on a Wayne Goss number seven. I'm going to use this wet and apply it right on the inner portion of the lower lash line. Honestly, I'm feeling like this palette is a little lackluster. And then lastly, I'm gonna take the very first shade in the palette on a Wayne Goss 26S, highlighting the brow bone. Then I'm gonna go add liner and mascara to finish off the look. So what did you guys think about the looks and how these palettes were formed? Let me know down below. Right now, I'm gonna give you guys my two cents. Starting off with the Sweet Pinks palette. This is the palette that I used first. I think that this is gorgeous, and it is a neon pink dream. All of the shades in here performed really beautifully. I love the pigmentation. I love the blendability. 
I think that this is stunning. It creates just a really beautiful, blended, impactful look. And I feel like all the shades that I used definitely had impact. I love this. I think this shade is absolutely gorgeous. Overall, very happy with this palette and I love the look that I got. I'm telling you, it was so bright and intense and I loved the way it looked. Next up, the mauves. <laughs> this shade, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is the one, there's almost always a shade in the palettes that I'm like, that's the shade that I will use over and over and over and over again. And for this palette, it's that one. <laughs> I knew immediately looking at this that I loved this shade. And then this one, it's, it's just stunning. I really like that they paired this into this palette because it makes this palette less monochromatic, whereas the Sweet Pinks is definitely more just pink. This one has a little bit more range to it. The only thing that I would like to have, I wish that this shade was just a little bit deeper. I think that if it had just a little bit more depth, that the liner I created would have had just a little bit more impact. But overall, absolutely stunning. And this shade, I'm going to swatch it just real quick because I want to stick my fingers in it. You do have to layer the shade, but I just don't mind. That mermaid green and pink is just, it's so good. I fall for this type of shade all the time and it just did not disappoint. You could use it wet, you can use it dry and just kind of pack it on. It's gorgeous, it's a gorgeous palette. Now, with that being said, the one that I have on today, this one disappointed me a little bit. I'm just, I feel like this was a little bit lackluster and it might be because it doesn't have the pressed pigments. Pressed pigments tend to be a little bit more impactful. They tend to have a little bit more pigment. And this one, I felt like when I was adding these three mattes, there wasn't enough difference. You could see it get a little darker, but truly I felt like this should have looked like this color on the eye, and I didn't get the depth that I really wanted out of it. I think looking at my eye, it looks like I probably have three different shades on, but I just... I'm just not as happy with it. And then the metallics, you can use these wet and they definitely can be applied like I did. I layered them. It's just not as good as the other two. I do like it, but I don't see myself wanting to reach for this. I really love the shade that I first used. This is, again, the one shade in the palette that I'm just like, go to it. And I would just take this and put it all over. But this one, it just leaves something to be desired in my personal opinion. This is the one palette out of the bunch that I don't really feel comfortable suggesting. And if you're any darker than me, I don't really think that it's going to show up on you very well. But that's just, again, my two cents. Take it with a grain of salt. You guys let me know if you've tried these palettes out and what you think about them. Let me know what you thought about the looks. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.